Hello my friend, have a nice day. Hourglass Channel specializes in updating the latest obituaries of famous people. Well, yesterday we talked about your feet. Oh, by the way, uh... Let's remember them. Let's go. David Soul, actor and singer David Soul, a 1970s handsome man who starred as the blonde half of the crime-fighting duo Starsky and Hutch and topped the music charts with the ballad Don't Give Up On Us, passed away at the age of 80. Soul was born on August 28, 1943 in Chicago, Illinois, United States, whose acting career began in the 1960s when he joined the pioneering Firehouse Theater in Minnesota. He continued to appear on stage and screen well into the 20th century, but he was best known for his work in the 1970s. Soul portrayed Detective Ken Hutch Hutchinson alongside dark-haired Paul Michael Glazer as Detective David Starsky in Starsky and Hutch, which aired on ABC from 1975 to 1979 and became so popular that it spawned a line children toy. In the mid-1990s, Soul moved to the UK, forging a new career on the West End stage. Soul has been married five times and has five sons and one daughter. Soul died in a London hospital surrounded by family on January 4, 2024, aged 80. Ayla Algan, veteran film and theater actress Ayla Algan died of a brain hemorrhage in Istanbul at the age of 86. Algan suddenly fell ill while reading a script at home around 7 p.m. on January 4th and was taken to the hospital. Taksim Asibadem. Ayla Algan was born on October 29, 1937 in Istanbul, Turkai. She is an actress and assistant director known for Oda Beni Sevior, 2001, Haram Suare, 1999, and Son Sos Benham, 1970. She has a daughter, Sevgi. She followed her husband to America. She began studying theater with her husband at the Actors Studio in New York City. She then joined the Language and Culture Center, LCC, in Turkai, and worked as an actress and theater instructor. After cinema and theater, she began her singing career. She devoted nearly 70 years of her life to art. Algen was honored in the 2022 Presidential Arts and Culture Awards for her contributions to theater. Amparo Rubin, Mexican composer and singer Rubin passed away on January 6, 2024, at the age of 68. Amparo Rubin was born to Jose Rubin and Ofelia Tagle in the city of Puebla on March 24, 1955. At just 11 years old, she composed her first song, En la Arena later performed by Lupita D'Alessio performing and recording. At Puebla, she attended her first semester of education, studying communication. She studied Spanish literature for three years and attended seminars on literature and philosophy, as well as learning to play the guitar. She moved to Mexico City to officially launch her career, having quick success with songs such as Peligro, performed by Olga Maria of the Flans in 1991 for their album Adios and by Euridia in 2005, and Herida de Muerte, popularized by Manuela Torres. Rubin settled in Spain for five years, lecturing and performing in nightclubs in several Spanish cities. 
In addition to his work as a singer and composer, Rubin also studied extensively in music and theater workshops. She developed a method in soap operas in which each character in the story had its own leitmotif, and the telenovela Vivir un poco would be the first to use this method. Harry Johnson, the veteran actor who appeared on hit TV shows such as Battlestar Galactica, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and Law and & Order, passed away on January 2nd after a long illness. He was 81 years old. Born in Plainfield, New Jersey in 1942, Johnson began his career as a contract player for Universal Studios and made his television debut as a warrior in the science fiction epic Battlestar Galactica, 1978. He also starred alongside Adam West in the 1981 television movie Time Warp. In the 2000s, Johnson left Hollywood after his last recorded appearance in Heartland. Some Johnson fans may also recognize him from the iconic Harry and Louise television and radio ads that ran in the 1990s. Johnson's prolific career in Hollywood spanned four decades, with appearances in Dynasty, Quincy M.E., Days of Our Lives, M.A.S.H., Melrose Place, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and more. American Olympian Richard Thornton died at the age of 65 after collapsing on a beach in California. He had been battling multiple myeloma. The then 21-year-old Thornton qualified and was selected for the 1980 United States Olympic men's swimming team. However, Thornton chose not to participate and boycotted the Summer Olympic Games in Moscow to protest the invasion. Afghanistan in 1979 of the Soviet Union. He then graduated with a bachelor's degree in physical education from Cal Berkeley in 1980. Thornton has been the head coach of San Ramon Valley Aquatics since 1984. Thornton has also coached U.S. national teams and junior national teams in Paris, Japan, and Brazil. He was named Pacific Swimming Coach of the Year once after being nominated for six consecutive years from 1994 to 2000. During his coaching career, Thornton has coached several athletes. Future Olympians including Matt Biondi, who won eight gold medals in the 1984, 88, and 92 Olympic Games. Keith Lamb. The former Middlesbrough FC CEO passed away on January 4th, 2024, age 77. Lamb considered the move from Ersom Park to the Riverside Stadium one of the most important events of his time at Middlesbrough FC. Lamb was instrumental in bringing famous names to Middlesbrough's Riverside Stadium, such as Juninho, Ravinelli, The White Feather, Emerson, Brian Robson, and Paul Gascoigne. Some believe that Lamb and club chairman Steve Gibson were part of a consortium that rescued the club from the brink of bankruptcy in 1986 after they fell into serious financial difficulties. But Steve Gibson was a small part of the consortium headed by Colin Henderson, Representing ICI Lamb, not so, he applied for a job as an accountant at MFC after the club was rescued, at which point he, he is working as an accountant for a company, radio company. During Lamb's tenure, Middlesbrough invested heavily in youth development, developing its Rockliffe Park facility in Herworth to compete with leading academies across Europe. Fred Chappell. The author of the novel Dagon, published in 1968, passed away on January 4, 2024, at the age of 87. Fred Chappell is an author and poet. He was a professor of English for 40 years, 1964-2004, at the University of North Carolina at Greensboro. He was the Poet Laureate of North Carolina from 1997 to 2002. 
he studied at Duke University. His 1968 novel Dagon, named Best Foreign Book by the Académie Française, is a retelling of the horror story Cthulhu Mythos as a psychologically realistic Southern Gothic tale. His literary awards include the Aiken Taylor Prize for Modern American Poetry, the Prix du Meilleur Livre Étranger, the Ballingen Prize, and the T.S. Eliot Prize. Japanese photographer Kishin Shinoyama passed away on January 4, 2024, at the age of 83. Shinoyama graduated from Nihon University. He worked with light publicity as a student and freelanced after graduation. Shinoyama has published a large number of picture books featuring clothed, mostly unclothed, and nude girls. On November 10, 2009, Shinoyama's home and office were searched by police on suspicion of public indecency. The searches stemmed from concerns regarding nude photos he allegedly took in public of two women in August 2008 for his book 2010 Eat Tokyo. On May 26, 2010, the court found Shinoyama guilty of public indecency and desecration of a place of worship for taking photos at Aoyama Cemetery. He was fined 300,000 yen. Shinoyama is married to Sayori Minami, and their son is actor Akinobu Shinoyama. James Kotick, former Scorpions and Kingdom Come drummer. James Kotick passed away Tuesday morning in Louisville, Kentucky at the age of 61. His daughter, Toby, did not give a cause of death. Kotick was the Scorpions drummer on their biggest hit, 1984's Rock You Like a Hurricane, and played with them from 1996 to 2016, the longest stretch of any member of the band. Before that, he was the original drummer for another German hard rock band, Kingdom Come, from 1987 to 1995. On the sidelines, Kotak also appeared on several reality television shows, including 2012's Ex-Wives of Rock. Kotak struggled with alcoholism and was arrested for public drunkenness in 2014. The illness led to him being fired by the Scorpions in 2016. Louisville-born Kotick was married to Tommy Lee's sister, Athena, from 1996 to 2010. A custody battle ensued over their son, Matthew. In 2019, Kotick also publicly announced his politically conservative views with the song, Get Out of My Country. French singer and songwriter Guy Bonnet has passed away at the age of 78. Representative of France as a performer at two Eurovision song contests, as well as author of a third song, he passed away in the French city of Montpellier. His first try as a singer was in 1970, when the competition was held in Amsterdam. He performed a song he co-wrote with André-Pierre Doucet called Marie Blanche. He won the four-song French national final. In Amsterdam, he finished fourth. Before he took to the stage as a performer, he made his name as a musician. In 1968 in London, he co-wrote the song La Source in French for Isabelle Aubray. Ironically, he beat her in both of the national finals he won as a performer but Isabel won the 1962 competition.
Cindy Morgan, the actress best known for her roles in the beloved 1980s films Caddyshack and Tron, has passed away. She is 69 years old. The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office discovered her body at her Florida home in Lake Worth Beach on December 30th after returning home for the holidays. Officials were unable to determine when she died, although they did not suspect foul play and believed she died of natural causes. Morgan was last seen alive on December 19th. Born in Chicago on September 29, 1954, Morgan worked as a weather forecaster, radio host, and DJ before pursuing an acting career. She moved to Los Angeles in the late 1970s, where she landed a gig as a model for the soap Irish Spring, then began appearing in commercials and print. Morgan recalled the experience of becoming famous for her character Lacey Underall in a 2012 interview. Morgan also appeared in episodes of The Fall Guy, Chips, Matlock, Hunter, She's the Sheriff, and more. Her most recent role was as the voice of Mason's mother in the 2022 independent film Face of the Trinity. Anna Strasberg, an actress and widow of famous acting coach Lee Strasberg, who inherited much of Marilyn Monroe's fortune, has passed away. She is 84 years old. She co-founded the Institute and serves as artistic director and visionary leader at the home of Method Acting. Anna Strasberg was born on April 16, 1939 in Caracas, Venezuela. When she began her acting career, she moved to the United States and met theater director Lee Strasberg. The acting teacher was then the director of the Actors Studio, where James Dean, Al Pacino, and Robert De Niro, among others, studied. Anna and Lee married in 1968. The couple had two children, Adam and Dawid. In 2000, Anna founded Marilyn Monroe LLC, which was sued by three photographers in 2006 for owning Monroe's licensing rights. The Australian director behind the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and Wicked franchises passed away after a most devastating health battle, passed away peacefully today, January 9th, 2024, surrounded by family her love. Just a few years after she was diagnosed with a rare brain disease, Dickerson was diagnosed with multiple system atrophy, MSA, a rare neurodegenerative disorder in 2020. Dickerson retired from the stage in 2020, and as her illness worsened, she moved to Dubbo, NSW, where she was cared for by her parents. A highly respected and much-loved music director, Dickerson earned a Bachelor of Music Honors in piano performance from the University of Sydney, and later joined the symphony's Young Conductors Program Australia. Tributes to Dickerson are pouring in across social media channels, with many praising her from performers and colleagues she worked with over the years. Del Palmer a musician and engineer who worked closely with Kate Bush on most of her albums has passed away. Bush wrote a tribute to her late collaborator on her website, praising his talent and creativity. I will miss him terribly, she wrote. He was 71 years old. Palmer was Bush's first live band member, and after her debut, The Kick Inside, he played bass on many of her recordings from 1978's Lionheart to her most recent album, 50 Words for Snow, 2011. For many years, he had an affair with Bush. He was a self-taught engineer who worked behind the circuit boards for her albums from 1985's Hounds of Love onwards. Palmer has also released a series of solo albums starting with 2007's Leap of Faith.
Adam Canto, an actor best known for film and television projects such as Designated Survivor, The Cleaning Lady, and X-Men. Days of Future Past died Monday from complications of bowel cancer redundant. He is 42 years old. Born in Mexico and raised in Texas, Canto first pursued a career in music. After writing several songs for films and television shows in Mexico, he turned to acting. In addition to playing the powerful mutant Sunspot in X-Men, Days of Future Past, Canto also appeared in the films Amanda and Jack Go Glamping, Two Hearts, Bruised, The Devil Below, and Agent Game. He directed two short films before Tomorrow and The Shot. Canto is survived by his wife, Stephanie Ann Canto, and two children, Roman Alder and Eve Josephine. Actress, singer, and composer Denise Asunson has passed away. The Itamar Asunson Institute regrets her loss. Definitely one of the best Brazilian musicians. The problem of bowel cancer claimed the life of 67-year-old Denise, who passed away prematurely on January 4th at Hospital das Clínicas in Sao Paulo. According to the statement, Denise was admitted to Hospital das Clínicas in Sao Paulo due to complications from bowel cancer. A wake and burial have not yet been announced. Born on December 5, 1956, Denise Asunção was born in Tiete, inland São Paulo. She participated in the performances of Itamar Asunção, one of the main performers of Vanguarda Paulista, along with his Banda Isca de Política, her son. In 2021, Denise has the show Pantera produced and directed by Alexandra Borges. Recorded at Teatro das Artes in Sao Paulo, the show features music by Itamar Assomso, Noel Rosa, and Caetano Veloso. Renowned dance and literary critic Joanna Coachella passed away on Sunday. She is 78 years old. The cause of death was cancer. For decades, Acatella was one of the leading critics on the staff of The New Yorker, where she covered modern dance and ballet as well as books. In 2009, she received the Nona Balakian Citation from the National Book Critics Circle, an award given to an individual literary critic. Akatella began her career as an editor at Random House before writing about the performing arts for Dance Magazine and many daily newspapers. Soon after receiving a Guggenheim Fellowship in 1993, she was hired by The New Yorker. In addition to her role as New Yorker dance critic from 1998 to 2019, Akasella published numerous books, including an acclaimed 1993 biography of the dancer and choreographer Mark Morris and Willa Cather and the Politics of Criticism, an assessment of how the Maya Antonia author's work has often been misinterpreted. Germana Caroli was an Italian singer who performed mainly in the 1950s. She performed globally, but mainly in Italy. Passed away on January 8, 2024, Caroli passed away at the age of 92. Caroli, a native of Bologna, caught the attention of conductor and composer Giovanni Fanati while she was singing a song in a local nightclub. Caroli joined the Fanati Orchestra as a singer after studying acting, acting, and singing. To them, she is very famous for the song Ehi Tu, 1954, the song that later launched her solo career. Carolee's career reached its peak in the late 1950s and early 1960s, when she participated in the most important Italian musical events of the day, such as the 10th San Remo Music Festival, Festival de Naples, and Canzonissima. She is truly loved by many people. Her son, her companion Noel Carroll, and two grandchildren survive.